Today we are going to learn about uh, Java and SOA, mainly focusing on SOA. Okay, it is used in banking. SOA is used in banking. It's like <clears throat> I have an application. I want to communicate with the bank for credit card authorization or debit card authorization. I have an application, but how will I connect to bank? So I have an application which I want to connect to a bank and get the approval for the debit transaction or a credit transaction, right? So I will be using SOA architecture. I'll I'll be connecting with the bank and I'll provide all the details to the bank and get the approval. Either it's approved or decline the transaction. Okay, <clears throat> even in manufacturing also, <coughs> sorry, even in manufacturing also, um, SOA is used. That is, if uh, actually in any manufacturing unit, they will maintain the inventory, right? If they will have a minimum level and maximum level for any component. If the level of the component, may, if, it, if, if it drops down to minimum, below minimum, right, it has to be informed to the vendor so that the stock gets refilled in. So, but uh, in, in, by using SOA, you can reduce a human intervention. The moment the stock reduces, then automatically it informs the manufacturer and manuf sorry, uh, the vendor and vendor acknowledges and refills in. Here, there is no human intervention is required. <coughs> Okay, even in insurance, let's say like, you know, uh, if an employee joins the organization and um, we need not manually uh, give the, all the details to the insurance company and get the employee insured. So we have all the details. We need to have, if we can develop a software using SOA, we can just connect to the insurance company, provide all the details and the insurance happens like the insurance is done for the employee and insurance policy is being sent by email everything happens automatically so you don't need to manually give all the details to the company to for the work okay some of the companies uses uh, <coughs> the SOA architecture is ICICI bank HDFC bank Axis bank lot of banks like any bank you take it up right it will be using the SOA architecture because any bank which provides the credit card they need to support SOA architecture because they need to give on the web how whether the the credit card transaction is approved or declined if they want to go ahead for uh, like if they want to process credit card transactions then they have to support SOA Right. Some of the other companies in IT sector are using SOA is IBM, HP, Oracle, Google, Amazon. It's like the list goes on, right? So without, right now without SOA in a huge organizations, it doesn't work. Even for any transaction, you see the basic idea is if we want to reduce a human intervention and we want to connect automatically and things to happen automatically, then SOA has to be used. Okay, some of the companies which uses SOA is for manufacturing purpose, Apollo, Maruti, Hyundai, and many more companies. Okay, <clears throat> and Harvard Medical School and all its hospitals uses the SOA architecture. SOA architecture, if, if there is a lot of demand in, you know, uh, everywhere for SOA architecture. If you look at the trend, so this is like you now, so a lot of job demand is also there. It is that we write the code and use the services on the other side without human intervention. Everything, it's, everything is automated. Okay, that is the main advantages of SOA. Okay, <coughs> why SOA? That is, let's say if I if I'm starting some company and I don't have the expertise in it, right? In one of the field, or not all the fields, or not all the fields. In that case, what I do is I outsource the work. I use the work. I part of the work I use from others and plug in that component as part of me, right? So 
that becomes the SOA. If, if it is not there, I have to develop everything on my own. Then it increases the speed to deliver and when, like, uh, when the time to deliver is more, definitely the cost also goes up. So to reduce the cost and to deliver fast, then I need SOA. And one of the uh, problem of uh, uh, not having SOA is, one of the problem of not having SOA is that interoperability. Interoperability means, let's say I have two systems, this similar systems, for example, I have a Macintosh, I have a Linux system, okay, and I want to connect both of, I can't, to, I want to connect these two systems and communicate with each other. I want to use a Linux system to use the services or the product which is installed in the Macintosh machine, it is impossible without SOA, okay. What are the advantages of SOA? As I said, if I use the services from the other company or the other vendor, okay, I can, I can, I'll have these other, I'll have these advantages. That is, speed to deliver the customers will be more. Like right? I can deliver very fast. If somebody is very special, somebody is specialized in that uh, area, I will use the services of them so that I can deliver the service to the customer fast. So the cost reduces and customer can get reliable delivery. It's like I develop mobile and I talk to Android to install Android on my machine. I don't invent OS. I'm a mobile manufacturer, but I need OS. I'll give, I'll use the architecture given by somebody else who is, who is like specialized in the particular subject. Right, the customer service is improved, and as I said, interoperability can communicate with similar and dissimilar systems for exchanging information and data 